Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War. Alright, before we jump into another mission, let's take a look here. We have a promotion to do. Yep, I have assigned... I think it was, what, Bo Zhang or whatever? The, the, the guy that had this 16 mobility, which is going to be crazy for an operative. And I've assigned that to uh, Christopher, one of my long-term subscribers. And let's go ahead and make him an assault. There we go. Very, very nice. This is going to be so awesome. And he's got six base health, too. That's just great. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the rest of the soldiers. I had some other... Yeah, I have some other promotions to do here. Let's see. Well, I guess no time like the present. Let's go ahead and do those. Gabriella. Right, covering fire or hollow targeting? I think we're gonna go with hollow targeting. It really is extremely useful. Plus 10 aim for everyone. That's, yeah. And then for medic. Uh. Oh man, I'm gonna grab Field Surgeon. 71 aim, that's actually pretty darn good for a medic. 16 mobility and five natural defense. Good stats there, very good stats. Okay, and our sniper promotion, right. Low profile or dead eye? Hmm. Dead eye. Okay, so wounded for four days for Eve. Maria's back in three, so we'll actually have an engineer that we can use. 20 hours for Jack. Okay, well, we're doing okay. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, let's spin the globe. Our motion tracker is almost done. Never used that thing, so we'll try that out. Okay, now if I manage to shoot this thing down, what I'm gonna do is, um, actually do the crash site instead of skipping it. <laughs> Accidentally did that last time. All right, let's try aggressive. Engaging bogey. Contact lost. Really? Okay. Contact detected. I still need to get that mod. I gotta look it up. I'll, I'll write myself a note. The one that shows the UFO damage. Uh, and he got away. All right. Well. Contact lost. No joy, scumbags. Okay, motion tracker complete. We have some money. Uh, maybe I should go ahead and. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire a couple more soldiers. Like three more. Yeah, let's hire three more soldiers and then let's go ahead and build uh, another satellite. Yeah, and let's build another shiv. They're actually pretty decent now. Okay, so now we're broke. <laughs> excavation complete. Look at the facilities. I'd like to excavate some more. Um, well, we can actually. Hold on. Gray market. Let's just sell. Let's sell a couple sectoid corpses. That's more than enough, right? And only ten. Yeah, there we go. Satellite's done. And standing by for launch. We are ready to Satellite uplink is done, so we should now be able to launch two, right? Yep, because we have the adjacency bonus. Four sectoid corpses for a scientist. Yep, we will do that.
Okay, let's go ahead and launch our satellite. Getting a little close there. Okay, so country bonus now. Let's see. Um, plus two defense for newly promoted snipers and scouts. Okay. Uh, or... 25% reduction in fatigue from gene mods. Don't have any gene mods, so I guess we'll go for this. Egypt's a little bit more money per month. Nothing to and we get an moment. engineer. Clear. Mm. Now nah, let's go with South Africa. South Africa. Satellite launched. Okay, so satellite's going up. Actually, should have launched that a day sooner, but it's all right. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Which is the access lift? Ooh, 100 bucks? Oh, I don't think so. I'm gonna need uh, some power. Well, we're about to get some money. Yeah, we'll just wait for that. I don't want to sell any of the other stuff yet. Yes, I'll do that. Scopes now. Definitely gonna want that, and the marksman scope. We're gonna want that too. Okay, so now... Beam lasers, or experimental warfare, or alien materials. Probably be best to go after beam weapons next. Yeah, I think so, because we need laser cannons, badly. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed. So one escape UFO? Okay. That's pretty good. Far, Commander. You're okay, shush. Shush face. Okay, now let's think about this. Laser weapons are going to be ready in 13 days. We're going to want to get some laser cannons right away. And those are going to be like, what, 140 a pop or something like that? So we kind of got to save for that. We've already got another satellite being built. And... From what little I've seen of their technology... Oh, shush it! Okay, now... The next satellite uplink would cost us how much? 200 and we need the power. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a fission generator because we're going to need one. Yep, right there. We could build a lab. We could run labs along here. Then we could run workshops along here. It's not idyllic, but we can do it. Yeah, these these being set up here, it's nice because it's, you know, they're going to be all connected and we'll be able to get some nice thermal generators, but it's, it's like I said, it's not perfect. It, it really would have been better if that had been up one level. It's going to make it hard for us to, you know, kind of cluster and get adjacency bonuses. So we can do satellite uplink, satellite uplink, and then two more here. Or two satellite nexuses here, and then two below. And then that would allow you to get worldwide satellite coverage, but I'm not too worried about that, because I'm not trying to take over um, every country like I did in my last playthrough. I'd rather just, you know, get towards the end game without doing that. You don't need to save every country. Um... Okay. Seventy bucks for a scope. Oh man, that's pricey. But only thirty bucks for a marksman scope. Okay, let's get that. That's a no-brainer. And we'll hold off, I think, on the scope for now. Just too expensive. And how much is um? How much is the whatever mech thing repair bay? Because it counts as a workshop for adjacency bonuses anyway. Facility will last for repair items built, and you need it for the mech. 
which I don't care about, so maybe this isn't that big a deal. Okay, so how much is the workshop? 200, huh? And a lab? 200. Okay, we're gonna have to hold off on that for now. Where's our soldiers at? Three days. Okay. Twelve weapon fragments for engineers? No, that's not happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. You need those for research. Don't trade those away, especially on higher difficulties where you, you get less resources, less money. Yeah, don't. Don't do it. Okay, let's go take a look at those new soldiers. I guess it's these three? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Four, four base health, 15 move, 28, 63 uh, aim. Yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. Yeah, I like that. We actually still have quite a few decent... Like, here's a 69 aim person. That could be another sniper. And I don't know what the deal is, but I have, like... <laughs> It's not, it's not a very even distribution, male-female. It's like, I have, like, a ridiculous number of women, which is fine. I don't care, but some people are like, I didn't want to be a girl. I wanted a guy character. It's like, oh, just whatever. You deal with it. You deal with it and like it. We gonna get a mission or something? That'd be pretty cool if we could get that. Uh, let's say not now for this, and then... I appreciate your efforts to support How much the do you need for the autopsy? I've already put the new Five. recruits to work in the lab. Well, in the next nine days, I guarantee you, we'll get another sectoid corpse. So let's let's go ahead and honor this. All right. Scan. Okay, TK421's back in the action. Abduction. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. Excellent. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. All right, I'll put the team together like I always do, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, let's take a look at the team here. So I've got um, a couple of, you know, promoted soldiers here to kind of act as babysitters. Now, I'm taking Christopher... Um, primarily because I want to try to get him ranked up as much as possible. So I'm going to send him, essentially every time he's available, I'm going to be sending him because he's going to be our our covert op um, assault. And then when we're finally done with uh, Exalt, then he can go back into the regular rotation. But that's going to be his job for months once Exalt, once Exalt shows up. So I want to get him leveled up. Okay, now we've got a couple of rookies with us. Let's take a look here. Attack armor, assault rifle, pistol sidearm, and two different grenades. Yep, so we can pick our flavor. Good stats here. I prioritize taking people with um, high mobility plus high base health. So I, I still need some more engineers. So one of these will probably end up being an engineer and the other a rocketeer because I have none of those yet. Matter of fact, this guy is kind of earmarked to be a rocketeer if he lives. You know, last time I earmarked someone, bad things happen, so... <laughs> Good luck! And his loadout, tack armor, assault carbine, pistol, AP grenade, and ceramic plating. Then we have another... Why are you in that outfit? You're not supposed to be in that outfit. Come here. You're not... You haven't been promoted yet. That's right. You're still red. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, so what do you have? Assault Carbine, uh, Motion Tracker, right, so here's this deal. Scans 360 degrees um, to a range of 35 meters, so roughly five tiles beyond visual range. Then you've got uh, allies are color-coded blue, aliens and meld-enhanced enemies are red. Human civilians are white, bomb and active plasma bomb nodes are green. Meld canisters are yellow. That's pretty cool. And you can use this three times or four times with Packmaster, one per soldier, and it's also usable by uh, shivs. Very interesting. I like it. So we'll try that out. 
And then we've got uh, an AP grenade. There we go, here's our scout. Attack armor, marksman rifle, pistol sidearm, med kit, and is that... Marksman scope ready yet? It is not, okay. So be it. Then we've got Jack Jarrett, our gunner. Attack vest, a saw, ceramic plating, and high capacity mags in case we need to do some suppression action. And then I already showed you Christopher, so I think we're good to go. This was... light alien activity, I think? The area of engagement what is the deal with my map engaged. draw? Current updates oh. indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. Man, that's another thing about XCOM 2 I'm looking forward to is dynamic, uh, dynamic maps, right? Central, big sky in position on approach of the uh. site. Strike one is awaiting drop. Clear. Oh, okay, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Okay. Where's this motion tracker sensor thing? Motion tracker. All right, so it said it was five tiles beyond visual range. Okay, let's see how this works. Move her like Heading right there. Location. Oh, that's cool. So there's enemies like right here. And there. Okay. Hey, that's pretty neat. I like that. And it doesn't even take an action? Okay, so we could move. Headed there now. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's look at her deal again. So she's here. Okay, well, then let's. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Just the scout. Ooh, let's dash everybody over there then. I don't see any reason not to. Time to motor. Location. Yeah, those groups are not near us. Running. What if this is how XCOM 2 is gonna be, right? Where you you're like hunting them instead of them hunting us? That's kind of cool. I think that thing only cost like 20... Yeah, it was like 20 credits or whatever. Okay, so... Oh, floaters. That's not good. Okay, we really need to try and engage these one group at a time. So we need to go for this group over here to the left. Heading out. Okay, let's slide over here. Okay, now that, how close, how close is this person to the group? Pretty far, actually, and those groups look static. I, th I think they are. Alright, let's send Christopher all the way over there. Okay. And then, let's look again at that motion tracker thingy. Okay, so you could go here. And... I don't think I want to go around that way. What if we move here? Like this, and then... Like here? Should be safe move. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, and then move, move you up. That's what we are looking for. Oh, whoa, 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 what do we got? What are we looking for? She spotted a meld canister, then where is it? Oh darn it. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, well. I'm rolling. Enemy troops. Oh, 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 there's the mill canister. I see it. Oh, it's a oh. What? It's there? I 
Okay, I'm confused a little bit. I don't know. I, I guess it's that way. I, it said that this thing would be marking the metal canister. So maybe it's like over here? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so we've activated one group, it looks like. I'd like to keep it that way. So we're gonna move Jack over here and hit Overwatch. What's making that noise? That would be the sectoids that you detected, you know, with your tracker thingy. Oh, that was nice. Nice shot, Jack. Okay, here comes another one. I just heard a door break open. They're backing up. Advance. I can hear the mill contain. It's got to be over here. Moving to position. Well, Christopher can go get it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, no, Christopher's not gonna be getting that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta deal with this sectoid real quick. So, move up. Got the flank. There we go, good. Good start. Two aliens killed, we got three floaters up. Alright. Hmm. Well, for starters, Christopher needs to move back and out of line of sight. Okay, let's move up right here with the rookie. I think I'll steady weapon actually with him. And then with this scout. Hmm, move up. I'm on the move. Yeah, let's move you here. We can use your motion sensor thing next turn. On my way. Nope. Okay, hunker down then. Okay, you move up and hunker down as well. Hopefully that draws them closer. I can use some grenades if they land. Yeah? Yeah, that'll work. There we go. That should be a decent grenade. Three or four, hopefully. Okay, three. That's not bad. That's not bad. Be nice if these guys could hit the broadside of a barn. Would be helpful. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to run the Overwatch, so let's go ahead and do it. As you wish. Fourteen percent chance to get hit. Okay, good. They missed. Please hit. Please. No. Keep forgetting she's got hollow targeting. Alright, maybe Jack can hit this thing. Yes. Nice. However... This person's gonna get flanked. Uh, yeah, I'm probably killed. Pretty good chance of that, unfortunately. I mean, Christopher can... You know what? Christopher can run and gun. Let's do it. I don't think Christopher can kill it, but...
Well, you'd have to hit. That would radically increase the chances of killing it. Already there. Uh, feeling bad about this now. Mmm. They got me flanked. I'm all right. Oh my lord, it missed. Ho 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 ho! But there's another one. And he did something weird. Sometimes floaters freak out like that. Okay, well. Moving out. 100%. He'll hit that. Nice. Good job. We lucked out on that. Lucked out. Okay, you're gonna run to the meld. Ten four. And Jack's gonna move yes, over I here. This spot right there. Where you at, Jack? Come here. Oh, you can't. Well, but you can move here. That'll work. You can overwatch from there. And the scout can steady weapon. And I'm rolling. The rookie can move up. And steady weapon. Rolling out. And the other rookie can move up. Okay, so far so good. Gonna shoot at Christopher? Starting to lose ground. I'm guessing. Or no. Double move. Oh, wow. Hit a 28% shot. That was awesome. Definitely had some nice luck on this so far. Okay, what's left up? One floater. Okay, well then, go shoot this guy in the face. Pistol shot. Which was a 94% chance, so there goes that luck we were going for. Okay, let's see. Christopher to the rescue. Roger that. With his insane mobility, is able to move over there and take that thing out. Nice. Okay. Good start. Uh let's see. Let's do this. Let's go upstairs. Okay, move up. And reload. Let's rock. And... Affirmative. Let's reload. Affirmative. Dash up. Sounds like sectoids? Yep, sectoids. All right, well, I want to move relatively aggressively then, because I want to get... If there's more meld, I want it. Ten four. On my way. Okay, and you Moving. take this corner. Okay, move up. Open the door, go ahead and reload. Ready to engage. On my way. Move up. Position confirmed. And Christopher can move up and reload. Back in. Moving. Okay, so they're are they upstairs or nope they're right there they just opened that door okay well we're in decent position then yeah actually let's do this let's Affirmative. let's move here and open this door like so and then we can set overwatch here Overwatch here. We can bring Christopher up. Already there. 
we can bring this fellow up. That's affirmative. Bring this rookie also. Yeah? Got yeah, it. might as well. Okay, switch back to the main. Okay, and you can overwatch. And then, in theory, I'm gonna go right here and trigger with the scout. And maybe they'll scatter into some of this overwatch fire. Yes, I'll take care of it. There we go! Oh, they all ran back. Alright, well... That's okay, that's okay. Do have a high explosive grenade anywhere? Hmm. We'll just hunker. I could have moved away, but I kind of want to draw them towards this. Okay, now, we have, we do have a high explosive grenade. All right, you go there. You move up. Here. And they might try to flank, but I don't think they can get there and fire in one turn. So, let's blow open this wall. That's what they're trying to do, though. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll come over here. Twelve percent chance to hit. Okay, good. He missed. They're on the move. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna overwatch that door for us. Twenty percent chance to hit. That's not worth staying there for. Uh uh. Alright, let's move. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, pop this. How many active? It's three, right? Yep. Okay, what's your chance to hit? Forty seven percent. Alright, Christopher, move up. Chance to hit 84%. Okay, pop him. Nice. Man, he's the MVP of this mission. For reals. Okay, Overwatch. And we're gonna dash over here, because they're right here. In fact, they might pop out and kill that rookie. Nope. Okay. Well, the one on the other door probably will. Oh, look at that. I don't know. Maybe Jack's the MVP. I don't know. <laughs> One more sneaky guy. There he is. Okay. Okay. Sneaky guy. Here, let's just trigger the overwatch. Like this? Yeah, put a huge hole in that wall. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, where's Christopher? Come here. Going in for the kill. Hopefully this is the last one. Yeah! Flank steak! Out of the game. Another day, another success. Alright, that was a nice vengeful law. <laughs> that was a nice mission. work, Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. Mm-hmm, me too. No one got hurt. That was awesome. Okay, so we've got some promotions here. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to look up for these PFCs. I'm gonna have to look up and figure out what I want to assign them to. Gotta go back to my soldier subscriber list. But I can do the other promotions right now, so... These two. Yep. Okay, so Jack. Hmm. All the targeting? Covering fire.
Holo targeting. Yep. Okay, and then Christopher. Okay, now he's gonna be. He's gonna be the um, covert op, so I kind of gotta build him a little bit different. I don't actually want close combat specialists, I don't think, on him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build him a little bit different. And his will's kind of low. That's the only downside of his stats. Let's let's grab steadfast. That's a good pick for him. There we go. 33 will. Much better. And seven base health. Wow. He's even got good aim. That's that's nice. Very nice stats. One of the best soldiers I've got. Okay, so we'll deal with those three PFCs in the next one. We got 35 meld from that mission, which was good. And 160 bucks. Decrease panic in India. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay, what do we got coming up here on the event list? Fission generator, right. We got beam weapons. That's the next big thing coming up for us. Okay, and let's look at the panic levels. Holding steady ish, yeah? Okay, and what's our aircraft looking like? Okay! We're in decent shape, folks. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That hulk of flesh and metal troubles me. What oh, shush, Shen. I do need to get a lab here at some point. Yeah. How much is that going to run me? 200, huh? So many things I want to buy. Not enough money. Okay, well, folks, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.